guys, Jackalberry. And uh, you know, today I thought I'd talk about uh, Dill Hennessy Hammock, but the Scout version. Now, I'm the type of guy that uh, I can't, it's very difficult for me to be enjoying a nice hammock or have a real nice hammock and then, but my wife have like a piece of poo. I can't do that. I can't get her like a $30 hammock and then me have a nice Hennessy hammock and then me go to sleep at night and be like, mm, I feel so good in my hammock, knowing she's over there in one of them uh, banana shaped uh, hammocks, you know, cheap ones. And there's nothing wrong with those exactly. I mean, because if we both had one, it'd be okay. But I just can't let myself have the good stuff uh, while she's just stuck with uh, the not so good stuff. So, the thing about it is, is I got her a Hennessy hammock as well. And then I thought, thought it was pretty cool since the kids wanted to come camping with us. I thought, well, shoot, let's get them a hammock too. And so what happens is, and if you like uh, the Hennessy hammock Facebook page, uh, you would have had a nice little notification from them that they had what they call their odds and ends sale, uh, which is a lot of things that have small um, color differences, such as his hammock. This is one of the kids' hammocks uh, that you see behind here. Or well, maybe the tarp has been, had uh, small color differences, or maybe there was a, a little mesh repair, or a zipper was fixed, or just something small, almost insignificant, but it has drastically reduced the price. So for instance, like on this, it was like a $100 scout hammock, is about $100, and we ended up getting two of them for a little bit less than $100. So I think we, it turned out pretty good. We actually gave them the hammock and the, uh, the the tarps as well, or the rain flies as well. So, so what you're seeing here is the Scout hammock. Uh, it probably, to most of you that own a Hennessy, looks exactly like a Hennessy hammock. But if you look closely, you're going to notice something just a slight bit different. Let me pull this out a little bit. If you see this pull-out point here, and then look through the bug net where the other pull-out point is. Okay, that's not asymmetric. So this isn't necessarily um, an asymmetric cut hammock. Now it does come with the same uh, nice uh, ridgeline pocket, which is good. I mean, it's it's basically just like your your regular Hennessy. I mean, quality. It's very well done. Um, you almost couldn't tell the difference. Really, you got the same type of rope. Uh, your little latch points here, and, and we'll set the old uh, uh, rainfly iron here in a minute. But uh, this one is uh, I don't know which side it is, but this one has the uh, it's, it's the classic version, so you got the entry point somewhere here at the bottom. Um, I didn't know, here it is. So it's got the classic line here. I didn't really know that uh, that I ended up getting in the classic until after I already bought it. So, But that's okay. It worked out perfectly fine and stuff. But uh, anyway, so you got your tie out points here that you can pull out on the side, just you know, as usual. Uh, pull them out. And that's what we'll do here in a second. We'll stake it out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the rain fly on because really. The only beef I have with this particular uh, scout hammock is the fact that the rainfly doesn't seem to fit because the rainfly seems to be an asymmetrical cut, uh, but the scout hammock here uh, is not. Now I assume that since you can pull them back on both sides here in the middle, uh, I assume you can lay uh, either direction that you want and uh, seems to fit pretty good. But uh, just some few short, um, almost uh, insignificant facts about it, and you can probably look it up. I believe it's, it goes up to a height of 5'7 uh, or 5'8, uh, I believe, and I'm only 5'7, so it really, um, but I'm, I don't know that I would fit in it very comfortably. I haven't tried it yet because uh, the weight range is up to 150 pounds, and I'm just slightly over it by a pound or two, so I haven't really gotten in it. But the kids, the kids that we have, they're still, um, well, they're almost as tall as me, but again, I'm only about 5'7, so they fit in this just right and they're about 50 pounds shy of the maximum weight. So that's going to do uh, pretty good for this. And then once uh, once we end up, they end up growing out of it, I got a little milia behind them that can actually end up uh, just kind of filling in and taking over one of these nice hammocks. So it should work out beautifully. Um, I also got the hammocks kind of put up on my uh, light speed straps. Uh, so I've got it hung right now, but uh, of course that's my straps and uh, my stepson actually ends up using the rappel rings version. So. But anyways, let's take a look at it with the uh, the tarp on. Now, kind of to help you guys see real quick, before I put on the rain fly, I actually have it tied out. Um, and I want you guys to be able to see that it isn't asymmetrical cut. So if I kind of angle it in like this, you'll see the other side pulled out as well, uh, right here in the middle. So uh, not really a big deal, I don't think. Like I said, I believe you can lay pretty much whichever direction that you wanted to in there, and uh, you'd probably be all right. But that's kind of how it looks. So, 
And again, I don't have this uh, hammock rigged up all, all pretty like. Like I'm not, I wasn't cautious about uh, which end was higher and, and lower. I'm not trying to worry about that right now. I just want to kind of give you guys an overview of it. So let me put the rain flow on, fly on. I'll show you kind of the beef uh, that I have with that. Here it is with the rain fly on, and any of you folks that are even the slightest bit OCD uh, can kind of see where my beef is uh, with this. You can see where the rain fly is kind of tied out over here. Um, I mean, it, it, it definitely goes, uh, you know, extends where it's supposed to way past here, which is all fine. And then on the other end, just kind of, you know, let you guys know I've got it measured just about right. Uh, we're significantly. Uh, over where we need to be. So some of you may think, hey, if you pull in this side just a little bit and scooch her that way, this one will then line up over that, right? Well, you, you would be correct. But, and assuming we can get some light over here, this side is lined up just right. If I get you down under there, hopefully got enough light. This, this, this side is lined up pretty good. So, um, what happens is, see if I can show you this, um, not real well, but uh, the tie out point here uh, ends up overlapping this guy just, just right. So it comes up under there just right. But I guess the light isn't really going to let that show. But anyway, you just take my word for it. And so what happens is if I end up scooting it down, if I end up bringing it from here down this direction, then this guy is going to be offset uh, similar to the way that the other one does. Now, it, that doesn't seem to be such a problem, but when you have that tarp attached to the line, as you, as you typically would, when someone ends up sitting in this hammock and it drops down, this becomes more of a problem because, like, when rain, if any, any sideways rain at all, even angled comes, uh, this thing is way dropped down. Um, and then you have to, like, try to fold uh, your rain fly down considerably. But um, I'm still kind of playing with it. I mean, I have other tarps I can put on there. And um, I, I don't know if they're just using the regular uh, tarps that they use, like for any of the regular Hennessy hammocks, the adult size one. I think that may be the tarp for that. And they're just giving it to you to set over these little scouts and stuff. And in which case, that's fine. Um, I think you could use it maybe for some light rain, but I think you're going to have to uh, work it a little bit. Because like I said, going back and forth, whichever way you go, one of these sides is going to be off. Now, if the uh, rain fly itself was um, symmetrically cut, uh, then you wouldn't have a problem. So instead of it being right here, if it hang out right over here, uh, just like the other side would, uh, then it wouldn't be such a problem. But I assume that Hennessy probably just uh, used the same rain fly on this. But anyway, that's really just a quick look uh, at the uh, Cub, or I'm sorry, the Scout hammock. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for something uh, to get your kids, they may still have the ons and in sale. I think uh, a couple days ago I looked and saw uh, that they did, and they still had a couple of these. I think they are about 39 or 49 bucks. Uh, a piece. You really can't go wrong with that. Uh, it's, it's, uh, and they may be the classic version, which the kids kind of think is pretty fun. Uh, they've kind of enjoyed that, and I've enjoyed watching them uh, try to do that as well. So, I mean, as far as that goes, we've had them sleeping already. Uh, we, we got to camp out a little bit, uh, and they said it was nice and comfortable, so they enjoyed it. They could still do their um, diagonal lay uh, in it, so they were able to have somewhat of a flat lay uh, as well. But it, of course, those nights we didn't really even need uh, we didn't need the, the the rain fly at all. So we just kind of left those off and everything. But um, like I said, there's other rain flies I can get, or I even have, um, I got a monsoon, or I even got a hex fly for my uh, Hennessy hammocks, plus a bunch of other uh, uh, rain flies that we got and stuff. So, so there's stuff that we can use to make it work. Uh, and what I also may do is end up tying that tarp or the rain fly off to the trees and not have it hooked uh, onto the, the line. And that may prevent some of that problem when somebody sits in it and it sags down and it causes there to be more of a gap because then I can actually do a little bit more uh, adjustment uh, with the rain fly on that. So, but anyways, 
I uh, just thought I'd show that to you guys. Uh, thanks again so much for watching the videos. Hope you've been enjoying them. Uh, i got a few more things I'll show you kind of as we go along and stuff. Just some pretty cool little things here and there for people who, uh, who uh, are just some uh, weekend warrior type of campers like myself and, and my family. But we love it. So anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.